Hi, YouTubies. It's me, Zachary Mike. Thanks so much uh, for being love, patient love, and understanding. Love, Mike, we, we. These folks getting in these subscriptions <laughs> right when I start filming. What uh, What the rip? Thanks so much for subscribing at tier one for six months in advance. There is a special on, on Twitch right now for September where you get discounted... Um, discounted subscriptions and you get a bigger discount for the many months in advance that you subscribe if that's something of interest you can also use amazon prime to get a free subscription on twitch as well in case anybody on the youtubies is concerned uh but anyways what was i saying love 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 oh my, my gosh we, we. hi youtube me please go back to studying <laughs> yes go go study kvr choco please please put your academics first um, but what was I saying? Wow. Oh, thanks so much for being understanding. If you um, were expecting a new video from me and I didn't give you one, I was not feeling good yesterday. Um, I know a lot of you have questions about that because I did post on my community tab as well. Uh, I'm feeling better today. I don't know that I have quite a lot of answers, um, but I will say go check out the video on YouTube. By the time this is posted on YouTube, there should be a, a video posted on my main YouTube channel called, what did I call it? <laughs> called uh, Amber Lynn has something to tell us that she can't tell us right now. Um, if you go look at that video, then you should be able to know what I, what what's going on. I give an update in there. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so bad at this today. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. So anyways, I really wanted to, did you see Yo Mama call you out on your camel toe? Bessie, I, I've said this before quite respectfully, but I don't watch other reaction channels, um, Yo Mama included, so no. And I don't watch, to be honest with you, uh, with one exception that I'm about to tell you about, I don't really watch content about myself either. <laughs> Who hasn't called me out on my camel toe? Who hasn't called me out on my camel toe? Uh, but no, I don't. I I tend to not actively seek out content about myself, um, with the exception, with the exception of the cousin chat. Um, so I, we're not watching the cousin chat today on the stream. We're Love, but, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. <laughs> Livio Sword, thanks for subscribing with Prime. Appreciate it. Um, but uh, I did want to bring attention to the cousin chat uh, featuring K is for Karen and Anna only in my dreams. I, I am going to, sh she does seem a little uncomfortable that I called her Anna only in my wet dreams and it seemed like maybe her husband was uncomfortable that I called her that. Um, and I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want her to feel uncomfortable. So I, I might just call her Anna only in my dreams. Cause she seemed, I, I, I listened to this whole thing and she did seem a little uncomfy, but anyways, they have cousin chat with Lisa. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let, I, I don't want to make her uncomfy. Um, so not a problem. But anyway, anyways, I, I think this is like a podcast, but they do this also like as a live stream. Um, I listened to this whole thing because one, I love Lisa and two, they tagged my my Twitch re-upload channel in it. It is very funny and fascinating. And I think if you enjoy a good Dollar Tree haul and the personality that Lisa brings to her Dollar Tree hauls, that you'll also enjoy this nonsense that happens in, in this live stream. Um, I was trying to think, oh, I will say the highlight of it, if I'm being honest with you, is that, uh, and this is a spoiler alert, so, but it's it's like an hour, over an hour long live stream, so there, there's plenty of other things that happen in it. But the highlight for me was Miss Lisa saying that she, she watched me and uh, she was reminded of a a coworker. I don't remember what she said the coworker's name was, um, but he was a Latino man, and she used to tell him 
um, that she just thought he was so, 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 so handsome, only to come to find out that he, uh, and then, and then she, she stumbled over her words a little bit because she didn't want to say the wrong thing. And, and she, she was like, I don't, I really don't want to offend anybody. Um, ooh, what do I, what, what, ooh, how do I say this? And then K is for Karen goes, oh, he was your work husband. <laughs> And then Lisa's like, sure, he was my husband. And then... <laughs> and then Anna very politely goes, I think you can just say that he was an LGBTQIA member. And it was just, it was just so cute because they clearly didn't want to offend anybody, but also, also clearly do not interact with gay people that often. <laughs> Uh, and so I just thought it was really precious, but she said that I really reminded, uh, her of him and that, uh, she, she just like saw a lot of me in him, which I don't know is, is a little bit like not all gay people are the same, but I do, I do love and appreciate that. And if I can bring more gay culture into Lisa's life, I'm happy to do that. I, I really still also haven't texted her, even though she gave me her number to text her. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, they, they do in the video, this is the one exception. They do talk about me, uh, for a good chunk of it. And it made me, it made me honestly watching the whole time. It made me anxious, even though they mostly were saying very kind, very nice things. So yeah, in general, my my personal boundary is that I don't seek out things about myself because even if it's good, it, get, it gives me anxiety hearing people talk about me. So it's usually just better that I don't. Um, ask her if you can be her new YouTube work husband. Actually, I think that might be what she said. I think she might have gone on to say like, oh yeah, well now he's like my YouTube work husband. <clears throat> is she finally going to send you that stethoscope? Oh my god, I should I don't think I brought that up in any video that I've reacted to her since we started recording for the YouTubies. So um anyways, I just wanted to bring that up briefly. Go check it out. Uh I did learn just in searching for it in this moment that they do cousin chat on both K is for Karen's channel and on Anna Only in My Dreams channel. Um, but this one in particular is on the K is for Karen channel. So go and, uh, check them all out. Karen talks a lot. I will say that. And sometimes over people. I'm like, girl, I need you to, I need you to slow down. Let some other people talk. But that's my only, that's my only feedback. Um, anyways, today what we're doing, this is a recommendation from the Welsh cat here in the, uh, the Twitch stream and the Twitch chat. Uh, she recommended this person named Marsha Johnson, who honestly, I mean, I don't know if I really want to go love, there. Love my cream all week, <laughs> week. You guys need to realize I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm so quirky. So quirky. <laughs> so quirky. Um, I, I'm, I kind of, I probably shouldn't say what I'm about to say, but I'm going to do it anyways. Also, I'm holding this, like I'm talking into it, like a microphone. First of all, it's not even the microphone part of the headphones. And second of all, the mic, the actual microphone is in front of me. Um, anyways, I probably shouldn't say this because it, it'll probably get people riled up if, if the right people are watching. Um, but why, why is she kind of giving like, I don't know if it's lower budget or higher budget DC media girl. I really shouldn't even bring her up because that's just going to invite too many people. <laughs> Saying, saying too many things. <laughs> I don't know. Is it lower or higher budget? <laughs> Is it lower or higher budget? I'm unsure. These days, I'm unsure. I used to think that, like, well, we don't need to go into all of that. <laughs> let's just... Let's just... Let's just move on. Um, what, what I... What I am going to say is, uh, this girly seems to be into the Timu. So she's a Timu girly. And this particular video, I'm told by the Welsh cat, 
that this particular video is Marsha doing some investigative journalism about, um, specifically about fast fashion and why fast fashion is bad, but Timu is not. <laughs> so I'm intrigued. I'm always, I'm always trying to learn. Okay. I'm always trying to learn, find out, um, new, new things, especially about things like Timu. Okay. Bestie, I'm about to block Zachary Michael if we don't get to get to. You need to chill out. <laughs> the people in the chat are roasting me right now. I don't know if, I don't know if the chat is still too small to read. But they're like, I when is Zachary Michael gonna start the video? <laughs> when, when is Zachary Michael gonna start the video? It's 6.33. Come on. Oh my gosh. Well damn. Uh, listen, have you have you not had fun this whole time today? <laughs> Has this been miserable waiting for me to get started? But start the video before we start Moose Knucklegate. Moose Knucklegate has already started. I don't know what to tell you about. Okay, I do have a friend coming over, but he's not coming over until 7. And we're going to watch um, Big Brother, you know? The Jersey Mike thing was a bit much. Oh, oh for, for those of you who don't know, the reason that they're upset is that prior to even starting the recording... I was like, oh, did I ever tell you about this time that I interacted with this guy from MasterChef who was a vegan but never cooked vegan on the on the show? And he, he we learned that he blocked me, okay? We learned that he blocked me and um but he he did message me and he yelled at me because I didn't know that they didn't provide him vegan ingredients, even though I assume vegetables, which all of the, the chefs seem to have access to, were vegan. Anyways, if y'all in the chat are ready <laughs> to watch this video, could y'all could you put some... Not retell the story, we have time. <laughs> If you're ready, put some 69s in the chat. So many whiners in the chat today. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I think it's so funny. Honestly, y'all whining about me getting started. It's just making me... It's just making me laugh. I just think it's so funny. It's so hilarious to me if I'm, be if I'm being honest. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, both the dogs are in here. All right. Let's get to, let's get to, shall we? All right. Okay. Wait, I also don't know how loud or quiet she's going to be so we can make adjustments to the volume love, as needed. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Honestly, we could use a karaoke. No, karaoke wouldn't happen until after we we're done recording for YouTube. Sorry. All right, let's go. Hey friends. Oh, she's kind of quiet. We're do a little chit chat. And we are going to address. I don't know. Maybe it's because I thought she looked like DC Media Girl, but that's not what I was expecting her sound, her, her voice to sound like. Fast fashion. Some of you may be like, what in the world is fast fashion? I kind of asked myself the same thing when I started seeing it pop up. And i uh, seen it pop up because ever since Timu has been like, a hit I've I've seen fast fashion pop up and I thought well what what is fast fashion oh wait and I should say I should say what my understanding of fast fashion is because you know I'm here to be educated I'm here to learn I'm here with an open mind an open heart uh, and my understanding of fast fashion and this is like uh, I used to be an educator right so like you often also want to take assessments before and after a lesson, right? So that you can see what people have learned. And so the, as a teacher, you might be like, before like uh, before a lesson, you might be like, you know, what, what do you know about fast fashion? And then the kids will write out what, what they know. And what I know about fast fashion is it's like 
Um, it's a term that's often associated with places like Xi'an, um, sites like Xi'an, where like it's cheaply made clothing, made very fast, made to not last for a long time, and then, um, you know, be disposed of once it's no longer good. And you, you can get it usually pretty fast, too. I think. Okay. Love, love, love All my right. cream. We, we. I hope she'll be able to connect with my dead grandpa. Why? Why? Because she looks like the the Long Island medium's long lost cousin, sister, friend. Um. Wait. It's pronounced Sheen, not Sheen. Yeah. I think so. And a lot of you, <clears throat> some, not a lot, some have texted me and asked me. What is fast fashion and why do people keep putting it up online and why do they talk about it and what does it mean? And so we're going to go into fast Let's fashion get and fucking what in. that means. Okay. Love, love, love <coughs> my fast cream on wheat, wheat. Uh, that guy, Bry, thanks so much for subscribing with Prime. I appreciate it. Fashion. I wrote all my stuff down because oh, I can't have my facts straight, okay? Fast fashion. <clears throat> Produces girl, cl or girl clear that throat one more time. I swear the fuck to God. Who produce high volumes of clothing throughout the year. Okay? They produce high volumes of clothing throughout the year. That's what fast, fast fashion is. And now let me read you. Is that all it is? I feel like there's more context than just that, right? <laughs> And I found these online. Let me read you who is fast fashion, okay? Because I was thinking, okay, maybe they're calling fast fashion kind of like a McDonald's drive through I mean, they call McDonald's like fast food. You know, it's really not healthy for you. And they're, they're, and I've seen a lot of people say that fast fashion versus the economy and, and it's not good for our, I don't even want to go into that because if anybody's crashing that, it, that would be the Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. Judy, come on. Come on, girl. We're going. We're packing up. We're leaving. I'm joking. I'm still here. I'm, st I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm sorry. What? Wait. Wait. I love that she's like, I'm here to educate you. And, uh, you know, some people say this, but I'm, I'm not really going to get into that. <laughs> Can we get a repeat? Sure, 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 sure. Yes. Uh, yes. We'll give you a repeat and then I can paraphrase for you, okay? For you. And they're, they're, and I've seen a lot of people say that fast fashion versus the economy and, and it's not good for our... I don't even want to go into that because if anybody's crashing that, it, that would be the Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't, I didn't watch long enough for her to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, so here's, here's the, the, here's what's annoying about that as a concept, right? Okay. Like regardless of what you think about, about policy regarding, what the Democrats or the Republicans are doing, right? To to just be like, some people some people are saying that fast fashion is bad for the economy, but then do do no more to go into it and just write it off as like the uh, the fault of a political party when the reality is is that like it probably actually really does impact the economy in some type of way. I. I don't, I'm here to learn, so I don't personally love, know. Love, love, my cream, all we, mm. we. Caring about the environment, U-G-H-H-H, unamused. Uh, for sure, for sure. But it's just like, I think what would be, I mean, I guess I'm not surprised by somebody, well, let's not, I'm getting political, okay? We're getting political here. Uh, but I'm, I guess I'm not surprised that somebody who is so fed up with the Democrats wouldn't be willing to do some research to understand why uh, fast fashion might hurt the economy. Um, but but it is it is really annoying as a concept that like we'll just write it off as as well, this is just the fault of Democrats would like, 
I mean, systemically, it's a, a large issue altogether. She probably doesn't know the difference between the economy and the environment. They both start with an E, so the same thing. Well, that's what we also really should say, is that it's for sure certainly not good for the environment. For sure, for sure. <clears throat> that wood background and camo neckline gave it away. Oh my gosh. Which dog is love, that? Love, love, love my cream all wheat. Come wheat. here. Come here. Um, the Democrats will pay for what they did. They will. Arr. Arr. Oh, also somebody bringing up the... Love, the... love, love my cream all wheat. Wheat. We should have known as soon as she spoke with that haircut. Listen, I'm not here to make assumptions. I'm just here to learn. I'm here to learn what Miss Ma'am has to say about fast fashion. Um, listen, I will say, the background also made me think of another thing that Lisa was sad by. Lisa was kind of sad that I, I dogged on her, um, on her Dollar Tree background. And I do feel bad about that because she seemed, she loved it so much. And then, and then in that little interview she did, she said, you know, so, this is all I can afford. And I was like, oh ma'am, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. But some, I will say, some of them are kind of ugly. <laughs> like, like. Regardless of what you can or can't afford, like, some of it does come down to taste, you know? What is this? <clears throat> anyway, let's get off of that subject, okay? <clears throat> I'll... I think that subject is relevant, though. I think that's... Sub uh, sorry, I know I already said this, but that's relevant to talking about, like, is fast fashion good or bad, and is Timu fast fashion? We thought they were talking about fast fashion um, by clothing being, excuse me a moment. Oh, ma'am. I still have allergies. Ma'am, ma'am, edit it out. <laughs> I don't need to see you wiping your buggies. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. Edit it out. Whatever. <laughs> as uh, <clears throat> fast fashion as the clothing being um, cheap. Um, if it was cheap, I wouldn't order it. And let me just say that right now. If it was... Girl, please. P please. Please. If it was... Timu is cheap, first of all. Second of all, I can tell by the, the way you dress and that background behind you that you are buying cheap shit all the time. Please. So cheap that it that it looked horrible and, and you could tell it was cheap. I wouldn't order it. Ma'am, I, I, I want to hold a mirror up for you to take a look. I want to hold a mirror up for you to take a look at yourself right now. You <laughs> I will say, most of the pieces that I have ordered from Timu, well, and um, Shan, good cow. The pieces that I've ordered have been really nice. So you are buying fast fashion because you are shopping at the old Shein. I mean, really nice. Okay? I've liked them. And they will be in my closet for a while. I mean, I can't tell you they're going to be in my closet for many, many years because nothing in my closet stays there for many, many, many years. Okay? I just don't do that. I just don't. I get bored really easy. She said, fuck the environment. I... I'm happy to overconsume for no reason. Who cares? The sweatshop workers who made her clothes for no money. Well, I, I am curious if she's going to get into that because when it comes to places like Shein and um, Timu and Wish, like a large question about them, I mean... As you all know, because a lot of you all also watch Amberlynn and we already went down the, the Timu fiasco there. A lot of the stuff is like made really unethically. Especially when it comes to clothes. And if it's not the latest and the cutest, I don't want it. Well, then you should have thrown that necklace, those earrings and that shirt out the window a long time ago. Then you should have done that along with that Karen ass haircut. And I know that makes me sound so bad, but that's just how I feel. I'm not going to wear an old moo, moo you know, that was popular back in the 60s, maybe 70s, and then um, pull it out because the colors are bright. I don't, I just, I, let's just leave it at that. I get bored very easy, okay? So, 
There's a lot of things in my closet that don't stay. You, you think the people working in the sweatshop love, making love, those clothes for you? We, we. You think they get She's bored? the type of girly that made sure all her coupons worked when I worked retail. <laughs> Listen, don't, don't, don't hate on the coupons. <laughs> don't hate on the coupons. Very long. Except for my shoes. Now, my shoes will stay if they're sneakers. Does Zach's shirt say nude Jesus? No, it says new jeans. It's a K-pop group. If they're, if they're a sandal that, you know... Yeah, they'll stay, whether they're cheap or, or expensive. Or a combat boot. That never goes out of style. <laughs> Sorry, it's cut. I didn't realize it's cut off a little bit over here on the screen, but it, it does actually fully say, or a combat boot. That never goes out of style. What are you two barking about? Judy, get here. Come here. Judy. That's Judy. I just watched her bark. Judy, stop. What are you barking at? Could you believe that Judy's the one? Judy, come here. You're going to sit and watch this, this snobby lady talk about fast fashion, okay? You're going to sit here with me and you're going to like it. And you're going to like it. She's not going to like it. <laughs> She's not going to like it at all. Okay, say bye. You got to stop barking, though. Okay? Okay, sweetie. All right. Okay. All right. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. <laughs> They'll stay. Okay, let me tell you some companies that are fast fashion, that are considered. She really, truly hasn't still explained what fast fashion is, though. She really has it, and I'm annoyed by it as a concept. Fast fashion, okay? Okay. Walmart. Is that shocking to you? Walmart's considered fast fashion. Target, Zara, H&M. Does she, does she cite sources? Does, does she cite sources? Oh, she cites her Avon store. <laughs> and her Poshmark store. Um, I don't see, I don't see any, I don't see any, any links. Does she pin one? I don't, I don't, I, what, where's the proof? Yep, they say H&M is the worst because I think it's H&M that they said they actually do use child labor. Or love, love, now what the fuck do you think Timu is doing? She's telling you what is fast fashion for her and her family. <laughs> True, it is what is for her and her family. It doesn't matter what is for me and my family. H&M are under fire for contracting with factories that violated child labor laws. H&M has kids who are between the ages of 14 and 17 slaving away in sweatshops. Now, if I look up, if I look up, give me a second. If I look up Timu uh, sweatshops, why you should be leery of... Sh of shopping app Timu from the um, from the Alliance for American Manufacturing. <clears throat> uh, this is a long article. See, what I'm not trying to do is love, do the love, research. Love my cream all week. I, I just she would be an MLM girly. I'm not. I listen. I'm like, let me Google, and then, <laughs> and, then and then I'm like. I don't want to read, but I'm not supposed to be the educator today. She is. <laughs> she is. Uh, let me search. Let me search Timu. Oh, also, I didn't even type Timu right. Child labor. Also, did I say thank you, Olivia Sore? Thanks so much for the um for the bits. Appreciate it. Um. From the LA Times, from the LA Times on June 15th, 2023, Timu sells products in U.S. linked to forced child labor and China analysis shows. Oh, not, not an asking, not an asking me to disable my ad block. Oh gosh, I can't do all this right now. I can't. <laughs> Anyways, we don't need to read the article. It says it right there in the headline. <laughs> She's the 
the teacher, not me. I'm just, I'm just presenting new options. LA Times is run by the Democrats. Oh my God, you're so right. <laughs> or they don't pay them or they use 12. I, I can't remember exactly what it was I read, but they said H&M is, is very, very bad. I can't remember exactly what I read, so you'll just have to trust me. You'll just have to trust me. Um, Gap is fast fashion. Forever 21 is fast fashion. For, Forever oh. 21 is, I'm pretty sure. They started out as, like, fast fashion. Because um, it's the same concept, but they were just always, like, a... a um, I watched a whole, like, mini documentary on YouTube about it. That it started out very similar to, like, what she and, and, and sites like that do. Um, and they actually haven't been able to keep up. And that's why a lot of Forever 21s have closed. Because they didn't, they didn't um, you know, corner the, like, internet side of the market. I work in news. Saying I can't remember what I read is totally acceptable journalism. I mean, I don't know if she refers to herself as a journalist. Uh, but she's kind of acting like one shop fashion nova and there were some others i didn't write them down i had love, not ever love, them, love my again, not we, sure. we. Not here. from the bbc popularity u.s lawmakers are warning of an extremely high risk that products sold on the chinese online shopping site temu have been made with forced labor the claims arise from an ongoing investigation into compliance with a 2021 u.s law that bars the import of uh, I don't, I, that bars the import. Where did she stop reading? <laughs> I, was, I was just letting the TTS do the, the speaking. That bars the import of goods made using forced, I don't know what that word is, labor. Uh, Timu said it was not responsible for third-party sellers using its platform. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, obviously, there's stuff out there. When she was list, sorry, I got very distracted. When she was listing off fast fashion, did she not name Shein? Because Shein absolutely is fast fashion. I'm not your fashion guru, so would I know about those? Probably not. Go figure. Those all are fast fashion. So, you know, if they say you're shopping from fast fashion and you really shouldn't do it, well, you're shopping from Target, you're shopping from Walmart, you're shopping from H&M, Gap, Forever 21. I mean, Forever 21 is a very popular. And again, y'all want to know what fast fashion means. It is, it produces high. Her, sh her shirt says believe, but for some reason, I'm not believing a thing she's saying. Her shirt says believe, but I'm not believing. Volumes of clothing throughout the year. Okay. Why is Timu not a fast fashion? Okay. Let's go to this one because a lot of people are really have said to me they're debating. They don't know whether they should order from Timu or not because they don't, you know, they, if you don't know, you just don't know. Okay. So let me just... Let me just enlighten you on some things. It, All right. Enlighten me, bestie. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for the enlightenment. I um I I'm I'm gonna need more information. Alright. This come from L. This L wrote this. L, okay. L L magazine wrote something. I mean, I will say, I did get a little bit spoiled. Welsh Cat did say the L magazine. She references an L something or another. But it allegedly is just a Timu advertisement. Timu is whether it's a fast fashion company. The answer is no. Like I want to, I want to see the article myself. Actually, L L Timu um, fast fashion. What is fast fashion, and why Timu is not fast fashion from L Canada? Specifically, <clears throat> the rapid rise of Boston-based online marketplace Timu has invited erroneous comparisons to fast fashion, but the company could not be more different. This is published on April 6, 2023. <clears throat> hey, wait, Welsh Cat, how do you know that this is a, um, a Timu advertisement? Oh, at the very, I will say, at the very bottom, it says, KO Media Newsroom and Editorial Staff 
were not involved in the creation of this content. Uh, okay. Interesting. Wait, who was it written by then? I don't know. What, 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 what's the chat saying? <clears throat> I checked the article and it's sponsored and not written by L. Where, ju I'm just like, I'm curious, where do I see that it's sponsored? Where, what part of the article says that? It said featured story retail insights. Oh, by oh, it says featured story by retail insights. Literally right here. What's retail insights? Like what happens when you search that? Which I'm assuming is a PR company hired by Timu. Retail Insight. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm doing some investigation. I'm doing some investigation. Um, <laughs> I, listen, I need to know. I need to know what I'm talking about on here. And I, I, listen, when I searched retail insights, uh, maybe I should search retail insights PR because, uh, or like public relations because nothing, nothing, um, came up directly when I searched retail insights, plural. Oh, here's, here's uh, jobs at Retail Insights. Retail Insights is Northern Europe's leading retail forum. We um, are strengthening, strengthening the retail ecosystem by building a platform of insights, inspiration, and networking. Uh, I don't know that that's not helpful. That's not helpful. I need to know. <laughs> It seems sussy. It seems sussy. I have a, I have questions. I can't find anything definitive. It's probably a copywriting firm. That sounds like a bunch of crap. It's an ad, buzzword salad. Addr addressing Marsha Johnson, bar bar is Timu fast fashion parentheses yes wait let me copy that for later <laughs> let me let me copy that and and put it in the twitch chat or on the twitch discord so that i can um remember to use that as a title later <laughs> might be a marketing firm or a company that writes blogs for seo purposes <clears throat> retail inside I, I, I were I'm not gonna spend much more time on this because as somebody pointed out Big Brother's on at eight tonight um but I am curious <gasps> wait I might have found it oh I found it I found it I think I found it This is, um, Retail Insights offers a tailored set of marketing services, uh, designed exclusively, oh wait, maybe this isn't it. This doesn't, this doesn't look like it either. I don't know. Either way, some shits, I, we have questions. I don't have a definitive answer. It just seems sussy. It just seems sussy. But let's let Marsha tell us, Okay. Let's let Marsha tell us, because I, again, I am here, I am here to learn. <laughs> I am, I am here to learn. Timu operates an online marketplace featuring more than 25 major merchandise categories, with clothing being just one of them. In contrast, fast fashion retailers like Zara, 
H and M, and Shein engage oh, in the production. Oh, so so we are so we are identifying Shein as as fast fashion. I also am curious though by this argument that because Timu has other non fashion items, she literally listed places like Target and Walmart as being fast fashion. But both Target and Walmart specifically have way more than just clothing items in their stores. Of goods, collaborating with their factories to swiftly manufacture clothing items intended for direct sale to consumers. Okay, did you hear Shein was thrown into that fast fashion? Okay. <clears throat> Timu cannot be categorized as fast fashion company since it does not engage in the production of goods. Instead, Timu uses next-gen manufacturing model that That's... allows it to match demand and supply more effectively. That is fucking buzzword salad that's fucking buzzword salad that is just a bunch of words thrown the fuck together none of that means anything to me absolutely none of that means anything to me leading to cost savings that are passed on to consumers Timmy achieves low prices. Wait, on wait, on. wait, that editing. Wait, she could, she clearly edited right there, but she couldn't edit out her wiping her fucking nose. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. To consumers. Timmy achieves that are passed on to consumers. Timmy achieves <laughs> that are passed on to consumers. Timmy achieves. <laughs> low prices on its products through its next-gen manufacturing model that improves the matching of demand and supply this leads to less waste and to cost savings that are passed on to consumers less at waste? lower prices without compromising the quality of now i i know everything i need to know about this woman just by the way she pronounced the word compromising compromising is that really do people say compromising she doesn't have a clue what she's reading. She's never read that word before in her life. <laughs> the products. <laughs> Timu's next-gen manufacturing model provides an alternative to the wasteful fast fashion business by ensuring that its suppliers produce merchandise that is in demand by consumers. Girl, this is all, this is all a fucking lie. This is made up. Made up. Welsh Cat, thanks for gifting a sub to Buckham14. I appreciate that so much. That's very kind. Thank you so much. Put some Judy and Poe emotes in the chat. Leading to less wasteful manufacturing and improving the environment, footprint of manufacturing and retail. That's Timu. Now, they did throw, and I did read somewhere else, they threw Shein in with fast fashion. So, there it is. For those of you that have asked me, is Timmy the best fashion? Because, I mean, I keep seeing all of these videos. and Not the Sean Cody XXX1 account following me on the Twitch. <laughs> Not the Sean Cody. Love, love, love Not my cream. Oh, we, we. Why would she need to know that word if she's never done it rolling on the floor laughing? <laughs> true, true, Olivia Sword. True, good point. Um, you know, I think... I think also my challenge with all of this is that she, she hasn't even pr like set up the premise well. Like she she didn't even really acknowledge why fast fashion is not good. She just she just wants to put out there that fast fashion or that Timu isn't fast fashion, but she refused to even attempt to acknowledge why fast fashion is bad and just blamed bad economy on the Democrats. Like there, there's no, there's no basis for why we're even having a conversation about Timu love, being love, fast fashion. Love, my cream, all we, we. DT moms, please don't Google Sean Cody. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The Dollar Tree mom girlies don't Google Sean Cody, and unless for some reason you're interested in men doing intimate things with other men, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Um. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, she hasn't even provided any kind of reason why we should even care if something's fast fashion. But then she immediately wants us to know that, that like, Timu isn't. 
But like, why do I care if it is or isn't if you if I don't even understand why fast fashion is bad? Everybody's buying these clothes and these shoes and these, and you know what? Here's earlier on, I was just frumming through. Your what? Earlier on, I was just frumming through. Earlier on, I was just frumming through. Earlier on, I was just frumming through. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> I'm hearing thrumming. Based on her actions, I would think it was thumbing. I don't know. Uh, everyone can afford different things. The real problem is that she throws out her wardrobe once a season. Yeah, well, I've also talked about that. I, I think there's lots of reasons why a lot of people... Um, do use things like Timu and Shein and um, love, even like love, conversations love about cream. Amazon oh, we, Prime. We. Thumbing is my favorite position. Oh, Maya, thank you so much for that information. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I There are all kinds of reasons why people have to use those things because there really aren't like affordable options for other things. And like, I've also seen a lot of conversations, like, Shein had a lot going on recently. I don't know if y'all remember seeing that Shein plus-sized uh, woman influencer who went on the, the brand trip to China and got a lot of backlash for her involvement in that. But, like, I think there is, like, a legitimate conversation to be had about how, like, companies like Shein also do... Um, do you know provide clothing and sizes for like people who can't get affordable sizes and other brands and things like that like there are so many arguments you can make about those things um but i it's just like it's still like it's all you can still be like it's also bad you know it's also still not good <clears throat> They're so funny. Now gay Twitter keeps using that one influencer's videos for catty posts. Oh, yeah. No. And then here's the thing about her specifically. I'll keep this real short. But she specifically, I knew about her. And only because for whatever reason, she's friends with Sammy from season one of The Circle. And Sammy from season one of The Circle briefly tried to be a YouTube vlogger. And they did some collabs together. And so when she popped up, I'm like, why do I know this girly? And it's because she's she's friends with Sammy from The Circle. <laughs> Timu, and I can't remember what it was I was looking at, but I, I always go down to read if any, you know, if anybody's bought it. I always go down to read what, what it's about, you know, if it's a good quality, if they liked it, you know, whatever. And I noticed it said this store seller something like that this store seller has high ratings and i thought store seller because i thought timu was the store seller timu is not that's what they're talking about timu brings in all these different stores like uh, aliexpress y'all know aliexpress is just my number one <laughs> Of course it fucking is. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Miss Marsha. Actually, you know what's kind of homophobic that I'm just putting together now? Her name is Marsha Johnson. Her name is Marsha Johnson. You know who one of the, like, founding leaders of, like, the Pride Movement and of uh, the Stonewall Riots is? Marsha P. Johnson. Do not disgrace our... <laughs> Our community like this, Miss Marsha Johnson. Rude. You could never. I love AliExpress. Like AliExpress, they bring in different sellers. In Walmart, Walmart is starting to do the same thing. They are starting to bring in different, you know, different sellers. Now, like now did you not? Now, listen, Miss Ma'am, did you not just list Walmart as being fast fashion? <laughs> Did you not just list them as being fast fashion? Which, by the way, I do fucking hate that. Walmart and actually Target on their websites, they both do it. I'm like, I just want to look and see what kind of clothes you got. Because I want, especially with Target, like, I have a lot of Target clothing in my wardrobe. 
And I just want to see what Target has to offer. But if you go look online, if you go look online, it's like all these like third party sellers. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it all. The, uh, like what I bought, the uh, white checkered inspired bags that look like the Louis Vuitton Damier Azures. Okay, that's from a seller. They don't, you know, they're selling under Walmart, but they're not from Walmart. They're not, you know what I'm saying? But Walmart, however, is considered, Walmart itself, the Walmart store, is considered a fast fashion. The the hoops she's trying to jump through in her mind, <laughs> the, the hoops, the hoops she's trying to jump through in her mind. Because also, here's the thing, she's also clearly shops at all these other places that are fast fashion, or at least in her mind, fast fashion, and she doesn't have a problem with it. So I'm confused what the point of this video is, is if she doesn't care about the concept of fast fashion, period. And I'm going to read them again to you. These are just some of them. If, if go look online if, if you don't believe me or you don't think I'm correct then just go online and do do your own research is what she's saying she's 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 pulling out the do your own research card and Google it fast fashion Walmart Target Zara H&M Gap Forever 21 Top Shop Fashion Nova and that's just a few. That's not. I'm pretty sure probably the thing that makes Walmart and Target a part of that list is because they do what Timu does. I I have to believe. I have to believe that's like the thing that actually makes them fast fashion. Because otherwise, I think they're just like a normal retail store. <clears throat> That's considered fast fashion. And here's what's funny. I have never heard a lot of people just go crazy, you know, over the fact that Timu is 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 doing so well. And there and there is. There are so many Timu hauls. But I tell you what, people are not tired of the Timu hauls because every time I put up a Timu haul. Who's people? <laughs> Who's people? I get I get a lot of views and I get new subscribers. Hey, I'm good with it. Um, so there, she said, as long as it benefits me, who gives a shit? <laughs> as long as I'm benefiting, who cares? Who cares if it's fast fashion? Who cares if it's bad? I'm benefiting. There's the facts for you guys, for my subbies who have been asking me, is it a good thing? Is it not a good thing? We really don't know. I don't know that you've shared a lot of facts today, ma'am. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a lot of facts here yet today. Um, it's, I'm not going to tell you it's a good thing. I mean, I'm spending money is never a good thing. But, now I am. <laughs> oh, so the problem is that you're spending money. That's the problem with Timu. Not the child labor. Not the fast fashion. It's, the problem is that you are spending money. Huh. Okay. All right. I've always been raised to respect money. Okay? I don't just go out and... Oh, that's that's the capitalist Republican coming out. I've always been raised to respect money. Put some respect on money's name. Money is not a person, bestie. Money is not a human. This makes no sense because Timu doesn't produce their own products and l just lets people sell through their platform. They aren't fast fashion, question mark. Timu uh, doesn't look into its suppliers and verify where it's coming from. Yeah, that's, I think, the, the big part of the problem is that they, that because they don't do those checks and things like that, the, the like, child labor and stuff is happening. Say, well... I'm going to, this is $110 and I don't care because it's $110 and it's high quality. It's considered high quality. Who knows where, who, who makes their clothing? Okay. Who knows who and where anymore? <laughs> now, is this not Miss Ma'am who, who just cited how H&M uses child labor? Girl, you can know and we do know and we do know just because you don't want to see the facts. Just because you don't want to see the facts doesn't mean that they are out there. See, this is this is really the problem with what I was saying earlier. Some people don't have a choice but to shop certain places. This woman clearly is capable of shopping other places. 
and she just wants to be ignorant to the to the facts that don't uh, fit her feelings. <laughs> like it's so annoying. But when I can get one for thirty dollars, you know what I'm saying? I I'm a saver. Even the purses, I'm a saver. If Are I can you? get the thing cheaper, you bet I'm going to get it cheaper because I'm going to save my money. I'm not just going to get it to say it came from. You're gonna, you're, you're a saver. You're just going to save your money. I wonder if I open up your channel right now, how many videos are just you hauling shit you don't need? All right, Timu haul and try on eBay and Walmart haul. Um, okay, that just looks like well, Dollar General food haul, but people have to eat. Um. Timu Hall and Tryon Hall. New monogram bum bag. Timu Hall and Tryon Hall. eBay makeup haul and friend mail. My Timu favorites. Timu Hall and Tryon. Friend mail and QVC and Tryon. My card wallet collection. What? Fun Timu haul. <clears throat> Shop my closet. Over 60 style my way. New bum bag from Mercari. Timu haul. Love, Timu love, haul. Love my cream all wheat, wheat. I was raised to respect money. That's why I don't keep any of my clothes longer than six months. <laughs> Bestie, you, you get her, Jade. Get her. <laughs> get her. Get her. I'm here or it came from there. And if you guys notice, most of the time when I'm showing you my outfits or whatever, most of the time I never told you where they were from. Just because I didn't think you guys were interested. <laughs> I really care where this old lady's clothes are from. I but mean, anyway, tea. I, I wanted know that to. I do. <laughs> share that with you um because uh, like i said so many of you have been asking i don't we don't we don't understand what fast fashion is we don't understand why everybody is hitting timu and why everybody thinks timu is fast fashion and it's bad for the environment and oh now we're oh wait now we're gonna bring up how it's bad for the environment earlier it was the economy but now it's the environment well well bestie girl it is bad for the environment and i will just i will just say that so anyway i hope that i've helped some of you guys i don't know if i have i don't know if i haven't i haven't I been helped really at all <laughs> but i wanted to clarify that up because a lot of you were asking me about it and i do two moon hauls and probably that's why you guys did text me and ask me because you were just curious if i had seen the comments and if i had seen some of the videos and if i had heard and yes and i've had people ask me is she in a rocking chair you know it's a fast fashion which obviously i guess they knew what fast fat well obviously they didn't know what fast fashion was because timu is not fast fashion <laughs> the critical thinking skills are struggling today miss marcia but um, you know, it is what it is. That's all I can say. It, <laughs> Everybody right now is loving Timu, and you know, it, it, is, what, it is what it is. What it is. The, it's killing the environment. Uh, children are working in, in conditions they shouldn't be, but it is what it is. Not, nothing we can do about it. People are loving Timu. What are what are we what are we supposed to what are we supposed to do? People are loving it. <laughs> Zach, no, no more of these people, please. I need Lisa to make me feel better. Well, respectfully, Lisa has to keep posting videos if you want me to keep reacting to her. I like the clothes. If I'm, I guarantee you, I promise you, I could buy some shoes and I could buy a whole outfit from Timu, head to toe, earrings, necklace, the whole outfit, and I could show you guys what I'm wearing for the day or whatever, going out, whatever. And if I didn't tell you guys where I got my clothing. Uh, she is right, though, that stores like H&M, Forever 21, and basically Mall Store are fast fashion. Uh, I, best, bestie, I, I literally already said that. 
I literally said earlier that Forever 21, I, I watched a, a, a whole, like, mini documentary about it on YouTube where they explained how, essentially, Forever 21 was, like, fast fashion before the internet, like, fully was, like, a booming, like, sales space. You wouldn't have no clue. You wouldn't know it came from Timu. I don't think you would. You would have no clue. Okay. I might. Now, yes, I order. We should. Black we should try Shein, that because I like Shein. Maybe it's just because I started with Shein. They are a fast fashion, according to statistics, and you know, L and. Okay. So anyway, there's. <laughs> I there have been so many times in this in this video where she she starts to say something and she gets flustered because she's clearly not confident in what she's saying and she doesn't actually know the facts so she just cuts it off and says anyways <laughs> anyways and i still also again just want to point out that uh she's clearly capable of editing and left in herself blowing her nose let me just read you this again this is by l girl can we not I'll publish this and it says timu's commitment to sustainability Timu's commitment to sustainability goes beyond its next-gen manufacturing model. The company has a strict vetting process for all third-party sellers in terms of quality, and sellers who violate Timu's policies can be permanently banned from the platform. Furthermore, Timu's commitment to sustainability extends to its packaging practices. The company encourages consumers to practice mindful con consum consumption <laughs> and to combine small purchases into larger orders to reduce the number of trips and environmental N footprint. Now, now, what did that say about what Timu's doing for sustainability? Huh? Tell, tell me what that says about what Timu specifically is doing about sustainability because just them encouraging you, the consumer who clearly is over-consuming, you specifically, Marsha, um, just them encouraging you to, to, to shop more smartly when it comes to sustain, sustainability isn't working. It's not doing anything because you're still buying more than you need. It, the, that part of the article is just mumbo jumbo. It hasn't said a lick of what they're doing for sustainability. It, it claims that they vet their vendors, which like, what does that look like? What does that mean? What does what does vetting them have to do with sustainability? And then it says that they encourage their consumers to do something about it. So that's not any kind of accountability on the the business at all. Timu's popularity is a testament to the growing demand for sustainability, ethical, and eco-friendly shopping options. The company has received positive ratings on review sites like SiteJabber and the Better Business Bureau. Did y'all know that? Indicating that consumers appreciate its innovative approach to online marketplaces. I don't think so any of that had In to do with sustainability. Timu is not a fast fashion company and its next gen manufacturing model offers an innovative alternative to the wasteful practices of traditional manufacturing by using living Timu, in Delulu consumers land. can shop without compromising quality or their values, making it a great choice for those looking for quality yet affordable merchandise. So there's that. Okay. I that that literally, I mean, I I didn't find concrete proof that this was like a paid advertisement, but that sounds like something blah, that like blah, blah, Timu would cream. write we, about itself. We, without compromising quality. Oh yeah, we, we can't come promise quality. I hope I clarified that up a little bit for some of my suppies and Thank you guys for being concerned and thank you guys for asking me. Hey, you don't know until you ask. Like I said, I had seen it several times. Um, seen people put things about fast fashion and I was like, what in the tornation is fast fashion? I didn't know. You I, still I didn't really know. truly haven't answered the question, to be honest. I have not learned anything from this video outside of, I don't believe blah, you. Blah, 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 my cream, all wheat, wheat. I watched one of her vlogs the other day and there's like three minutes of her eating at Taco Bell with copyright free music over the top. I felt like I was spying on her through the camera <laughs> in her phone. I kind of love that as, as a concept, though. 
<laughs> what a vlog. What a vlog. I'm not, I am not a fashion guru, okay? By clearly. Any means. Clearly. And everything that I show you guys is what I like. It's my personal style. I've always been that way. I can't help it. My mama used to say, why can't you be more like them? Why can't you dress more like them? And I'm like, because I ain't them. Miss ma'am, you dress just like every other middle-aged white woman in this country. You're not special. You're, you're not special. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. She's a fast fashion expert now. I guess so. She's th she thinks she is. That's why. <laughs> I've always been that way. I've always been stubborn. I've always done what I want to do. I could care less if some of you think that my my fashion looks hoboey or I I, don't, I really don't care. Ho? Did she just say hoboey? Like as in she looks like a hobo? Her words, not mine. I really don't care. But for those of you who do like my style. Hoboey Jane from from Big Brother. <laughs> style, then voila. Maybe I can help y'all find shumping. Shumping. So anyway, there's that. There's that. Okay, guys, I hope. Uh, Tori Turtle, thanks for gifting a sub to um, Moon Shoes. Appreciate that. I hope I helped. I hope I helped. Some of you, I don't know. I don't, I Maybe I didn't. Oh, y'all want to see my shirt? No. I already saw Believe. it. Believe. This came from uh, Kato's. Oh, my. See, this is how I know she's not like, that she is like other girls. Because my mom loves shopping at Kato. My mom, well, I don't know if she still does, but she used to love the Kato. I, I kid you not. And this woman's probably the same age as, like, my mom. Are they fast fashion? I don't really know. I'd have to look that one up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they. I don't. I don't know. So yeah, you don't know a lot of things, girly <laughs> See, girl. See a lot of things I don't know. Not very many, but a few. See, there's a lot of things I don't know. Not very many, but a few. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope I kept y'all informed, and thank you guys for asking me about it. And remember, <sighs> keep God in it. You'll always win it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Smelly. <laughs> See ya, Stinky. Uh, I did get a request from Jamie to look at some of her shorts. So, we'll look at a couple because they're short, right? W the hardest part about finding the right wig. Wait, what is this? Outfit of the day. Hashtag Timu Fashion. Okay. I'm back from the doctor, so I thought I'd just show you what I wore. This shirt that I got from Timu, I just hauled it. I just love this shirt. My little fidget. Um, then I wore these black shorts. I did wash them last night, just so just so you know. And my white tennis shoes. And then my. That's like an okay bag. outfit. That's a that's a fine outfit. That's a I I want another. I want another. Ooh, encouraging word for today. Would you guys like to have a little word of encouragement today? Well, let's just go to our little oh, shoe no. this calendar. Is, this is Amberlynn Reed content. I can't do that right now. I can't do that right now. Ooh, what is this look? <laughs> what, what is this look? Yes. Yes. You better work. I've worn that before, this look right here. Probably, I would wear something like that. <laughs> Love, lashes, and lipstick. This is everything to me. Honestly, honestly, these last two looks, those are my gender identity. <laughs> That's like what I aspire to be. <laughs> This, this shirt, though, it's wrinkly. It looks like it's straight out of the tea. Loving. She's loving herself. She's loving herself, loving the look. Loving herself, loving the look. All right. Well, that's all I got for Marsha today. <laughs> that's, that's all I got for Miss Marsha. Um, but YouTubies, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, just so those of you on YouTube know, um, 
I only usually stream Mondays through Thursdays, so a new schedule will be out on Monday, and I have been posting that on my community tab on YouTube, so you can always check it out there in case you are ever wondering when I'm going to be live on Twitch and you want to come join us in person. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my main YouTube channel in case you didn't know I had a main YouTube channel, um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye, YouTubies!